We are in the Flow Physics facility, which is the world's largest flow physics quality turbulent boundary layer wind tunnel. There's a huge amount of energy lost all the time to uh, turbulent processes that, uh, if managed better, would uh, amount to a great energy savings. We can investigate what causes drag on your car or a ship or an airplane. And as we better understand how, how this works, uh, we, can, we can mitigate these things and then improve, for example, engineered surfaces to develop things that have less drag and hence lower energy consumption. Okay, fan one's on. Slate's on. 400 RPM. 500. Okay. This is 600 RPM. They reach the overshoot and then they stabilize. This is only about 15 miles per hour. The cool thing about these fans are that those, uh, those two VFDs down there are something like 340 amps each. It's a huge amount of power. We are investigating the energy transport mechanisms in large offshore wind farms. What you have here is an array of about 100 scaled model wind turbines. So what we're looking at is how to optimize bulk performance electrically of these arrays using fluid dynamics. What we could do here in terms of the renewable energy aspect is provide benchmark data sets for modelers so that when future large arrays of wind turbines are installed, they will have the knowledge of where these should go, how they should be placed, and that will in turn uh, optimize the bulk power production. And everyone likes cheaper energy. The wind speed in this facility is not very high by, by design. Uh, the maximum speed is only a little bit over 30 miles per hour and that is done so that the smallest scales within the flow remain large enough so that we can measure them with existing instrumentation. It is also called the big and slow approach. Uh, the tunnel has to be this long so these scales remain large. The flow physics facility is the largest boundary layer wind tunnel in the world so to have the largest wind tunnel in New England is pretty cool. To have the largest one of its type in the world is awesome.